Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to quickly get a React Native application up and running using Expo and an iOS simulator. We'll create a new app, run the app in a simulator. I'll show you how you can switch to different devices by switching simulators. And lastly, we'll debug the application. Let's get started. Before we start, it's important you have Expo CLI installed on your machine. Expo is a platform that helps you build React Native applications that run on Android, iOS, and web. I'll add a link to the video description so you can take a look at the installation instructions and requirements. But to install Expo globally in your computer, you'll run, go to your terminal, run npm install double hyphen global Expo hyphen CLI, enter, and that'll start the Expo CLI installation process on your machine. You'll also need Xcode to run your iOS simulator. And for that, you can go to the App Store, search for Xcode, and get the application from the App Store. In my case, I've already installed it on my machine, and it gives me the open option. Once you have Xcode and Expo CLI installed globally, then you can head to your working directory like we have here and create your new project by running npx create expo app space and your project name in this case we'll call it my new app hit enter and a new expo project will be created for you once the project is ready we can go ahead and open it in vs code and take a look at the files create expo app generated some of the files we see here is app.js file which has a simple or starter code for our app. We have node modules, git ignore, and a package JSON. So if we wanna go ahead and run the app, we have two options. We can go with the expo way, which would be expo start iOS, or if we take a look at the scripts in the package JSON file, we see that there is a iOS script here that runs exactly that command I just told you about. So we can also run it by typing npm run iOS, and this will start opening the app in our iPhone or our iOS simulator. And you can see here, the app successfully opened in our iPhone 13 Pro simulator. All right. Now I want to show you how to debug the application and for the purpose of demo, I wrote a very simple code with two functions. One function will prompt the user for their name and the other function will just display a greeting with that name that was just entered. The return statement here just checks for that name, make sure it's, if there's a name, it'll show the greeting, otherwise it'll show the user the prompt asking for the name. Let's take a look at the functionality. Welcome, please enter your name. User enters their name, and we have a very simple welcome message saying, hi, Louise, welcome to this app. Now, what, what we wanna do is test your application or debug your application. And usually when we're debugging applications, whether it's React Native or web, we can take a look at the developer tools and see our code, put breakpoints in it, and the same case goes for Expo app. If we click on the simulator, go to device and click on shake, you'll see how it pops up a menu. And one of the options here is debug remote JS. If you click on debug remote JS, a window or a browser will be open that will let you then inspect and go to the sources just like you would with a web application and put breakpoints on those files that you're interested in. In my case, let's put a breakpoint here and refresh that app. And we'll see there is a breakpoint here in the prompt window. Let's see, let's put another breakpoint in the text and run the application again. Once we type the name, we should stop at that breakpoint before displaying the greeting. 
if we take a look here, we see that name has already been populated with the value entered in the prompt window, letting us take a closer look at what's happening behind the scenes. Now let's say you want to switch from an iPhone 13 Pro to let's say an iPad. In that case, you go back to the terminal running the application and hit Shift I. That will give you a menu of the different simulators for iOS that you can select. In this case, we can go to iPad Pro and an iPad Pro simulator will be open for us. There it is. It'll open the iPad Pro It'll open Expo Go with our application so we can test it in a different device. And that's it, you guys. I hope you gained some foundational knowledge on how to start working with React Native using Expo and an iOS simulator. We learned how to switch between simulators, how to debug our app, and of course, how to create an app from scratch. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.